Good morning, my friends. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. Okay, today's question. Goals. Goals, goals, goals. What weight loss surgery goals did you set at the start of your journey? Did you reach them? What goals are you reaching for today that you never imagined you would set for yourself on this journey? And... Um, I still have goals. I mean, I don't think when you <clears throat> begin this journey, there is a uh, path that you're walking, that you're wanting to get to. It's like it's like there's a there's a sign that says I've 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 reached five miles, <laughs> I've reached ten miles. And you're finally going to get to a destination that um, you can st you can stand proudly and go, yes, I made it, I made it. <laughs> and mine were full of dreams because my goals were were to be right here where I'm at. I've reached them, I've reached, but I'm not done. And I found a few quotes that I, you know, I'm a quote girl, you know that. If you know my videos, you know that. And so I want to read a few and explain what I mean with those. In the first one that I'm going to read, it says this. And I don't know, the, every, I don't know who wrote all of them, so I'm just going to read the quotes. <clears throat> Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. Nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. With this, no matter where we begin, we're always going to have to have that mental attitude of I can achieve it. Even if the steps are small. Now, in my mind, I still vision the path, the path I'm walking. You know, I did get to five miles. Yes! I did get to ten miles. Yes! There's still more to go. There will always be more to walk. See what I'm saying? The next one says, All successful people, men and women, are big dreamers. They imagine what their future could be, ideal in every respect, and then they work every day towards their distant vision, that goal or purpose. There was a time where I thought this was just a dream because I had started at such a large number. 487 to me was... And I know there's people that out there that have been larger than me. I'm not trying to say that, whoa, I made it, you know, a big deal. <laughs> uh, but it felt like it was unattainable. It felt like I wasn't going to get there, <laughs> no matter how much I dreamed of it. And yet, my eyes and my mind and my determination was still going to get me there you know I still say wow I want more I will always want more I always want more it's never going to change and I don't want it to change I want to strive for more that is the biggest goal for me right now that goal is continual you know, to want more. Even even though I'm nine years out. Whoops, my shirt's messed up. <laughs> I don't know how you young people keep these shirts down, but it's supposed to be like this, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, off the subject. Anyway, what would my video be without me getting off the subject, right? Okay, the next one says, Desire is the key to motivation. 
but it's determination and commitment to an unrelenting pursuit of your goal. A commitment to excellence that will enable you to attain the success that you seek. You know, those three things to me is getting me to where I'm at I am today and 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 those dreams that came true for me are still coming true because of motivation, determination, and commitment. I am committed to my weight loss surgery tool. I am motivated every time I say I'm grateful for the legs that get me to jog and walk. I am determined to not stay in bed, but get up and move the body. The goal for me is still not to be, you know, how can I, how can I put this? There was a time where I thought I needed to be skinny, to be healthy. I don't think that way anymore. You know, another goal of mine is to continually, you know, change my thoughts. Uh, because they're not always going to be the same from year to year. They're just not. Uh, the fact that I used to think I needed to be skinny and now I know I need to be healthy is two different things in my book. Of course, the question is for me. <laughs> Oops. Okay. And uh, last but not least, how do you go from where you are to where you want to be? And I think you have to have an enthusiasm for life. You have to have a dream, a goal, and you have to be willing to work for it. Simple, right? So simple. And yet, it can be a hard thing to do. It can be a hard thing to say, I'm going to get up Monday through, for me it's Monday through um, Saturday. I mean, I'm sorry, Tuesday through Saturday because I'm off on my, my husband's off Sundays and Mondays so I don't do very much. I do, I do, I must admit I still do a little bit. I like getting on my elliptical with my sister. Uh, she gets on the bike, I get on the elliptical. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll read that again, and then I'll close. How do you go from where you are to where you want to be? And I think you have to have an enthusiasm for life. You have to have a dream. I did. A goal. I did. And you have to be willing to work for it. I do. <laughs> Simple. And yet, it's achievable, very achieve achievable. Even when you were a person of 487 pounds, and now you are between, now I, I am between 160 and 165, more 165 on most days. It's nice when I see 160, it's, it's a miracle. <laughs> But I still have motivation, determination, and commitment that will get me to any of my goals. I love you guys. Go and achieve your goals and be the best you that you can be. Because that is what it's about. It's about your journey, your life, what you want for your dreams to come true. And I'll be back next Sunday. So be proof that your weight loss surgery tool is working. Mm -hmm.